A quiet long weekend afternoon in Saanich takes a terrifying turn. Neighbors told to run as a townhouse complex under construction goes up in flames. Witnesses say they've never seen anything like it up close. Many recording the jaw-dropping sight on their smartphones. But fire crews from three municipalities helped to prevent even a single injury. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We don't know how the fire started, but investigators confirming today the flames shooting into the Sandwich sky may be the work of an arsonist. Sixty people were evacuated. Tonight, six of them have still not been allowed to return home. CTV's Robert Buffum was at the scene of the fire on Cedar Hill Road last night and brings us the latest. Fire devours a Saanich townhouse under construction, racing through its roof where flames erupt. Exploding tanks of propane used for roofing. And uh, it started raining fire everywhere. Really big, big, big banks out. The massive blaze filling the evening sky with black, billowing smoke, sending residents of nearby townhomes fleeing. Literally was stepping on embers and turned around to see, you know, twice the size of my building. Many evacuating with little more than the clothes on their back. We grabbed our cell phones, our keys, and our cats. It was between a towel and clothes, and I think I made the right call. The flames and smoke visible from kilometers away, drawing concerned neighbors and onlookers. Only think of the people if there was anyone in there, because that would not have been very pretty. And worried family fearing the worst. Absolutely terrifying. Because she was so scared and she just, she phoned and said, Mom, you got to get home right now, right now. Three fire crews battled the flames while police closed off the area. Somehow, no one was injured in the fire that destroyed the townhouse under construction and damaged suites in two other buildings. I've never seen a fire that big, that close, that hot, go up that fast. 40 residents were temporarily evacuated, taking shelter in a bus. Six people will be out of their homes much longer. Today, investigators toured the charred remains. A cause isn't known, but investigators say the fire could be arson. It is a suspicious fire. It's, it's unusual. It's an unusual fire because there was no electricity or anything to the building. So yes, very unusual and it is suspicious. The scene remains blocked off, but for some returning once the smoke is cleared, relief. But our place looks okay? All right. Especially considering how devastating this fire could have been. Robert Buffum is live now with more. Rob, what else can you tell us about why investigators have determined this is suspicious? Well, Andrew, as we just saw, the nature of the uh, fire in terms of the building that was destroyed, it was a building that was unoccupied, and in fact, there was no work being done at the time. It wasn't hooked up for electrical, so that's certainly one factor. It's also been noted that there were some wildfires in Mount Doug Park that appear to be intentionally lit that happened a few hours earlier yesterday. And back in April, there was a fire at the Home Depot that is very nearby that's also being investigated as being suspicious. So those factors combined. It should be noted, though, the fire department's not drawing any link between Mount Doug fire and Home Depot and yesterday's fire, but they're all considered suspicious right now. Okay, Rob Buffum reporting live tonight. Thank you.